Joining us now is Thor Kane, the secretary, and I'm going to say this wrong. Okay, the Grand National Grass Futurity. That yes, is, that I, is I got correct. It right. okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, explain that. What, what, what's the organization? Well, the Futurity, uh, we're under the Grand National Grouse Championship, and the Futurity process, um, the breeders nominate their litter. They nominate their dam. Um, then when the puppies are born, they nominate their litter. Um, and then when they do that, then the owner, I send out a form in, the, in January, um, from the following winter, the puppies are born. They are then eligible. The, the owner nominates the litter, or their puppy, excuse me, and then they're um, eligible for the Grand National Puppy Classic. And then in the fall, we have the Grand National Grouse Futurity. Um, both both the Puppy Classic, I, the judges probably told you, um, there's no birds. They're just um, potential. So they're just judging on race, how they hunt the cover, um, how they look running, running style. Um, do they handle? And the, can you get the dog back they're usually um, on average a bigger running dog than your average hunting dog a field trial dog but most people here will hunt these dogs too they know the difference you know they get to a field trial they know to run they get to That's uh, exactly what I was going to ask you is <laughs> now I, I have regular hunting dogs yeah. at my house and it's different I mean yeah, they, they yeah. work differently they, they work very very close to me yeah. uh, all the time and that's that's what I'm after is that a good thing or a bad thing or yeah well they know the difference um, and that and you know the breeders the, the process of the futurity they're trying to better the breed they're trying to breed better dogs um, but when it all comes down to it we all want good bird dogs you can't tell that in this state because there's no birds um, but even gate will help out how they're gated um, will help out how long they can run and how much energy they have doing that so I, I notice um, it looks like English pointers I saw some set Today. Pointers and setters, generally speaking, um, and, and the this. ones that I've seen are hugely athletic. I mean, they're yeah. very, very fit and, and ready yep. to roll. Am I right about that? And they usually, when they get to even this point here in this puppy stake, um, they either ha think they have potential to be a field trial and maybe a champion or you know a big winning dog later on down the road. So they may have weed, may have sold one, or they just use it as a hunting dog that doesn't quite have that drive and punch and range and stuff like that. So. so does having my dog have, you know, on, on his resume the, that he's a field trial champion, I mean, does that help for, um, you know, the value of his puppies down the road? That's sure, sure. Uh, most of these dogs, um, if you look back in their pedigree, most of them are out of direct champions um, in, in this circuit, the cover dogs. Some of them come um, from other circuits, horseback field trials where they run on quail and other species of game, other game birds. So, but yes, it definitely helps. Any particular uh, reason why th this event's here in Crawford County today? Well, you, you move they, it? Do you move it around other yes. places? Yes. So what happens is um, that we had our Grand National Grouse and Woodcock Invitational. That's a championship. That's the top 14 dogs qualifying for that um, for the field trial season, and they run three days in a row. We ran that right up the road here, um, and that's multiple course, and you have to point birds. Um, the Puppy Classic follows that immediately after that. It's always this Saturday. That ended yesterday. It's a Saturday after. Okay. So, and it rotates. Um, we have three regions in the Grand National. There's the Lake States region. That would be Michigan, Wisconsin, uh, Minnesota. Uh, we have this region here, which is Pennsylvania, and then we have New England too. Um, so it rotates. The Grand National Grouse Championship, the Futurity, and the Invitational all rotate between those. So, how many dogs have been part of the uh, the event here the last couple of days and today? Fourteen, because only fourteen are, were qualified. It's just a closed stake as far as that. Um, our Grand National Grouse Championship, um, we could have upwards of 70, 80 dogs, and that'll be in the fall. And so. I have seen some local folks here from Crawford County out yep. today, so that's, yep. uh, and folks around Crawford Very County. Very family friendly this. event. Um, anybody's more than welcome to come anytime and attend. Um, my name's online on the website. You can call if you have a puppy you're interested. Um, coming out, other puppy stakes too, you know, not just this one. So no, we have no. all kinds of field trials all over the place. This is way more complicated than I thought when I first heard about this, but do you have any sponsors or those that help you put all this stuff together? Yes, we are generously sponsored by uh, Nestle Purina, our rep Dean Marenke. Um, they do a great job. They supply us for, with the winners with dog food. Um, we're also sponsored by Garmin Tritronics, um, and they're sponsoring this particular now event. That's an electronics, the, the, a dog collar. Uh, yep, GPS, uh, e collars. They're sponsoring this event um, for the winner. First place gets a um, e 
e-collar for oh, that. That's wonderful. And there are four placements in this. Generally, there's three in a puppy stake. There are four placements. Um, the purse is split between the breeders and the owner of the dog. So the breeders get a certain percentage, and then that because the okay. breeders, as part of the breed, they nominated the litter. So now you showed me uh, a, a special trophy here that, that goes. That's yes. kind of like the Stanley Cup, a traveling yeah, trophy it's here. Talk, talk about nice that trophy. Um, it's a it's a bronze trophy, um, and it's a rotating trophy. So what happens is to whoever wins today, first place takes that home. They get their name um, on a night and engraved on there and they get to keep it for a year. They do have to bring it back, but they keep it and have it on display and take as many pictures as they want with it. But the it. name's on there forever, it's right? It's on so there forever. Oh and and when the trophy fills up and gets long, it'll be retired and that trophy will always, you know, have their dog's name on it. A lot of really special great dogs that went on to uh, do great things in, in uh, grouse dogs and won championships have won this event and they or they've won the futurity so let me ask you a general broad question here the future of the sport what do you see for down the road I mean I I, I worry about things you know it's like are enough kids coming you know or, what, yeah, do you, what do you it's, see I, I'm I'm in this about six seven years um, and it, it's definitely there's a lot of uh, for lack of better terms gray hair in the sport but there's all also a lot of guys coming um, and getting started out. Um, it's important that we continue to have wild birds. If we lose wild birds in the state and in other areas, we'll lose this too. And obviously the involvement, because everyone here was a grouse hunter or a bird hunter, and that's how they got into field trial. And you could pull everyone here, and they pretty much had a bird dog and bird hunted, and then found out about field trials, not the other way around. So I have some property out way out in the country, and, and I used to every time I'd be out there just working on the property, and I had my dog with me, and they're good grouse. And, um, and then some fishers. Came, you know, yes. I had not seen a grouse since then. I mean, are those things related, or is you know? Um, I, I'm not. I don't know for sure. I'm sure they are. Um, there's a lot of stuff we need. Um, the biggest thing is young forest. That's what grouse and woodcock need. Um, and we have less and less of that. The forest matures, and everybody thinks a that doesn't know about it. A beautiful mature forest is great, um, but to have there's um, also other species. Goldwing warbler is a songbird that benefits from the same cover that grouse and woodcock need. Um, there's also a lot of talk in the state uh, with West Nile virus and how it's, there's studies going on how it's affecting our grouse. The biggest thing we need is early successional habitat, that young forest. Um, young forest, it's a healthy forest. It'll hold deer will bed in there, um, turkeys will nest in there, grouse will be in there, and avian predators can't get the grouse when they're in there. That's why they prefer it. So, so it's okay to cut down some of your trees yes. and let the new stuff come yes. up, right? Yep. Exactly. So, well, thanks for ha for having us out here Thank at the event today. Much. This we is great. Thank you for attending. All right.